After more than 10 years, I went back to this brand, but only for one pair. Hi guys and welcome to another video. I know the title says pink, pink, pink and this is green, but you will see where we are heading with this and you can see some of the pinks in the background and there's a reason for it. So let me tell you a quick story first. From let's say 2006, 2007 until I think it was 2012, I was buying Les Silla shoes all the time. That was my favorite brand. It was my designer go-to shoe and I still have many of their pairs left. If you haven't seen my collection video, go watch it there. And this is a reminder also that I'm going to actually be filming a new one in the next couple of weeks because I actually added quite a lot of new shoes since that video and I will definitely make a new one, but you know, that's coming later. For today, I kind of never saw myself going back to Lucila. It was never a question of quality or anything like that. It was just the reason that from 2012, maybe 13, a lot of their shoes only came in 12 centimeter heel. Now that heel to me is too high because I don't wear heels for like events or special occasion. I actually walk in them all day long because the nature of my job on TV station is that, you know, the way I dress, I like to be in heels. So I am mostly in high heels and 12 centimeter is just <laughs> not a possibility. Walking around all day is just too high. So I kind of went off the brand and after a few years, I even stopped checking their webpage, what they actually have on sale. Because in my mind, you know, their shoes were just too high for me and I didn't care for their flats. So I just kind of stayed away. But then this year, I think it, it, it's probably like Barbie effect. I don't know, but I really fell in love again with pink color, which I didn't use to wear for the last few years that much. I did a bit, but not that much. And now I have a lot of pink items. So obviously I need pink shoes as well. Sometimes to do like a matchy matchy outfit, sometimes to do like color blocking, but you know, I was definitely on the hunt for pink shoes. When I kind of went through whatever was available with brands that I love and usually buy, like Jean Vito Rossi, they were either too light pink, kind of like baby pink, or they were like patent leather and really too much in your face. And because the color I wanted is already in your face, I didn't want the type of material to be that strong as well. So my plan was to find hot pink suede shoes. And that turned out to be quite a challenge because there's a lot of pink suede shoes on the internet, from, but not from the brands that I usually go to. And I wanted a high quality shoe. So it took me a while. And then I remembered, hmm, maybe they have something at La Silla. And I haven't been on their webpage for years now. And the first pair of shoes that I saw, obviously because of the cookies internet, knew that I was looking for pink shoes. And the first pair I saw when I went to La Silla webpage was this pair. So I already filmed the unboxing and then the battery died and I didn't have time to, you know, recharge the camera. So this is like another day that I'm filming this video. So this is the actual unboxing. Let's try and open this. Oh, this is new. Enjoy your fabulous shoes, 100% handmade in Italy. Now, I'm gonna have to research this a bit because a lot of the brands actually are emphasizing that their shoes are handmade and then you kind of dig into the news and then you realize that some of their designs are actually handmade while others are not. So I'm not sure if La Silla is actually all of their shoes handmade. So I'm gonna research it and I'm gonna put it below the video. It says here 100% handmade. So I'm gonna, you know, trust them for now, but I'm gonna definitely do uh, more research on this. And then we have uh, spare heel tips, which most of designer shoes will come with. Then we have dust bag that is very nicely tucked into the box. Dust bag has changed. That was one of the things that I really did not like about Lesila because they had not so much a dust bag, but kind of like, um, dust curtain I could call it because it was not a bag it was just like a piece of fabric that you can kind of wrap your shoes around and it started fraying pretty early on after you know like a month or two outside of the box so I just had to throw all of it away because it was just not usable and this feels like a really good cotton shoe bag. I'm pretty sure they have been doing this for years, but again, I haven't bought anything from La Silla for like 12, 13 years. It's kind of like I, I'm discovering the brand for the first time again. It's, it's definitely, I see some changes, but all of the changes so far 
are for the better. Okay, are you ready, my darlings? Let's see what's in there. Okay, let me get them out of the plastic. I just love the smell of new shoes, I really do. Okay, I'm gonna put this away. I love this color blocking. Pink and greens is just the amazing combination if you have the right shades of pink and the right shade of green. And this is definitely one of the dresses that I plan to wear with these shoes as well. Now, I'm really impressed with this quality. It's still as good as I remember. It's still very soft, very thin yet durable suede. And the color is just exactly what I was looking for. So I'm really happy with these shoes. Obviously being suede, I'm not gonna wear them every day because I'm gonna have to be mindful that they might get ruined if I get caught in the rain. And you know, summers lately are just so unpredictable that you never know when it's gonna rain. So I will always have to take like spare shoes when I'm walking in this, but I'm really glad that I have a bold color shoe to complement my shoe collection. So I'm gonna show you some of the styles, how I plan to wear these shoes with at the end of the video. Video, so make sure to stay until the end and now I'm going to show you another accessory that I actually got to wear also with these shoes. Another thing that I was on the hunt for were like summer earrings that were not pearls or beads and that again was not an easy task because this is kind of like a summer uniform. Most of the jewelry that you see online is either beads or uh, pearls for the summer and I wanted something gold but still with the summer twist. And you know, my lovely Misoma delivered yet again. I'm just gonna emphasize again that everything you see in my videos I bought myself, nothing is sponsored, nothing was gifted, so I paid for everything. And even if someday into the future I will be gifted something that will not change my reviews, I will always be honest with you if I like something or if I don't, and I will of course always give you reasons why I like something and why I don't. So these are the big hoop earrings with all the lovely colors colors in it and these are just so summery. I love this hoop so much. Let me put them on. I actually left all my other lobe earrings out so they can shine on their own and I'm pretty sure they will be my like summer staple. They are slightly more heavy than your usual gold hoops because of obviously all the embellishments but they're not too heavy you can see my lobes are not like overly stretched or anything so I'm glad with that because I was a bit worried that they're going to be too heavy because I already have one ear one pair of earrings from Misoma that are so heavy that I cannot wear them unless I have my hair like really covering my ears because my lobe is very stretched with them and I don't like that so I'm happy that this will not be a problem with these earrings. Uh, I'm not sure if you have like really curly hair if this would be your perfect earring because if you can see from the side these things are actually sticking out a bit so I'm assuming curly hair might get caught in this quite often but for you know my straight hair it should not be a problem so now that we have like uh, new summer accessory shoes and earrings let's combine some styles and let me know how you want to wear your pink items like do you have a plan when and how to wear them or you just go with the flow and of course which is your favorite shade of pink because I really like this hot hot pink. I'm not so much fan of baby pink. I have like pink or bag that is kind of like borderline baby pink but it's still a bit more darker than the usual light pink. I want my pink to be pink but you know if you've been to my channel before you're gonna know that I love bold colors. So have a lovely day guys. Thank you for spending your time with me. Let me know in the comments about your pink items and I will see you in the next video.